What's up everybody? Well, I got a Asus G15 Advantage video for you guys today and it's also the first real video I've done for my new apartment. Now, I did do the little tour, but that was just a quick little more, more like a vlog style. I was just excited to be in and I definitely wanted to make a video. I hadn't made one in a couple of days. So now in this video, we're basically gonna test BIOS 316 versus the new one that just came out, 331. And man, they sure skipped a bunch of numbers, didn't they? I think the last one was 320 or 321 and bam, we jumped freaking 10 up. So a lot of people have question this at least 10 or 11 people have requested this so I'm glad I'm gonna finally get this done for you guys sorry I haven't been uploading this regularly and then I have to get to work on a bunch of backlogs a bunch of games came out as I was doing this I gotta go do that Star Wars game I have to do that Redfall game which I think might be Microsoft's Forspoken hell Forspoken might even be a better game from Redfall from what I've seen and you know got you know as well as I do that I freaking rip Forspoken a new asshole so we will see how this game does later the Redfall game but not in this video this video is all about BIOSes. So 316 versus 331. So let's go ahead and get the uh, all the benchmarks run for 316 now and then we'll go ahead and do that uh, all over again with 331. So let's just go over the test real quick so you guys know what's up. We're gonna do a quick Cinebench, then we're gonna move on to 3D Mark and we'll do a Fire Strike, a Time Spy, and then we'll jump into some Forza, do a benchmark, then we'll jump into a competitive game with some Warzone for that benchmark. Well it's more like Modern Warfare benchmark more so than Warzone. But anyway and then we'll finish it up with a harder to run game like cyberpunk and do that benchmark real quick and then do it all over we'll reinstall three or install 331 bios and do it all over again so let's not waste any more time and let's go get that all those benchmarks done so let's hop into the benchmarks well all right guys let's try this again i got done recording and all my recording sounded like shit and you couldn't even hear me it was like a robot just having like a seizure is what it sounded like anyway though we got 12,000. well all right so, we got 27,049. So, not super far away from average this time. Still not quite average, though. We got 10,707 for Time Spy here. So, not too bad. We weren't quite average this time, but it is what it is. You can't always win. Well, all right. So, now we're going to do the is a horizon test here but I want to show you guys what settings I'll ride benchmarks all finished now so here's all of our system configuration and all that stuff we got our stuff on ultra and whatnot so we still achieve here is the settings for modern warfare 2 here Okay, I just want to make sure I had that on the right one. That seemed like it was too high, but that is the lowest one you can. All right, we averaged 126 here on 316. We got 93 low fifth and 81 low first. A 4% CPU bottleneck with the 96% GPU. All right, so here's all the settings we're gonna run at Cyberpunk here. We're at 1440p just like we were for the rest of our games. Well, here we go for Cyberpunk. We got 72.95, minimum of 43.41, and 94.74 for the max. There's our system specs right there, settings and all of that. We don't have no resolution scale or ray tracing on. So I think that means it's time for me to go and install some... Actually, no, got to go check the fan speeds. Let's go and check the fan speeds and see what they get up to. Then we'll install the new BIOS and do everything all over again. Well, all right. We're just running a quick Cinebench in the background because I want to see if these things were already maxed out. I think they were, but I could have sworn that I went to 73 or something before, but I don't think so. I feel like it already would have gone up if it was going to. Then our GPU is at 6,900 RPM, and apparently that's 50 decibels, 50.6. Well, all right, so now we're on 331 BIOS, and we got way worse multi-score here. We got 11,772. I think we got like 12,300 or something like that on 316. Well, anyway, though, that's kind of a shame. I was hoping it was going to do better, but let's go on to the next test. Maybe that one will be better. Maybe this is a fluke. All right, we got 26,674, which I believe is way less than 707, or 26,052, I think, is what we got on 316. So, yeah, we definitely dropped here a little bit, way off best and pretty far off average now, even. That's kind of a shame. Well, let's go and 
finish this uh, benchmark run up with some Time Spy real quick, and then we'll get to the real games and see how those game benchmarks do. Well, now here's Time Spy, and we definitely got a little teeny bit less this time. It's not as drastic. I think we got 10,707, because I remember that by remembering in my head 007. <laughs> but anyway, so that's their score for 331 here, Bios, and it's not looking good so far. Let's go see how the games run. Those will probably be the same, they usually are, but maybe even they will take a turn for the worst. Only one way to find out, though. All right, so here we go with the Forza Horizon 5. Same settings as before, but I just want to show you guys real quick. Just so you guys know there's no funny business going on here. And now to the bench. And here we go. Benchmarks for BIOS 331 here. And it seems to be almost a carbon copy. Same 65, even same two stutters, average Lancy, and everything. So that is interesting. But in any case, why don't we now go ahead and move on to some, not Warzone, but some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Well, first, before we hop into the game, let's go ahead and look through these settings right quick. There's the display settings, we're at 1440p. There's like we've been for every other test. And here are all of my settings for 1440p. They're the same I use on 1080p too, though. So, we'll get to the bottom here, and then we'll also show you the view too, so you can guys can show you guys I have the field of view maxed out too. So quickly bounce over here to the field of view right there, 120, and third person is 90. So now, let's go run that benchmark now, shall we? All right, we got 126 average again with a low fifth of 91, and we lost a couple FPS of low first. I think it got 82 before. And we only got 3% bottleneck on the CPU now. Interesting. Anyway, though, why don't we now go ahead and move on to the next game, Cyberpunk. All right, here's our settings for Cyberpunk again. We're just gonna be running the same settings as I was before, of course. We're not gonna change anything now. Now we're on the home stretch. And no ray tracing, of course, because we didn't have it on last time. And besides, it sucks on this GPU anyway. So now let's go run the benchmark and see how it does. Well, here we go. We got 72.23. So we lost like a couple of the 0.2, but basically the same. We lost a couple men and a couple max. But I'd say that's probably with the, in the uh, realm of you know, run it again and it gets the same as it did last time kind of scenario, you know? I know that's called something, but the name of it just escaped me. Sometimes I have the brain farts. Anyway, though, now let's go ahead and see how the RPM of the fans fare on this new BIOS. Well, all right, guys, let's get 316 back on there, if we even can. Some people have reported you can't go backwards, so let's see if we can. All right, nope, you can still go back and forth. Well, I guess I shouldn't toot my horn yet, but it seems like it's installing 316, so we're gonna let it run 360, re, uh, upload to 316, since I'm all done with all this. 331 didn't work really that well, and I guess now, once it's done with that, I'll boot it back up, and we'll wrap this video on up so I'll just sit here and wait and luckily you guys don't have to wait through this I hate waiting I'm a very impatient person <laughs> but all right well all right guys that is a wrap and as far as I'm concerned since it kills the my uh, rpms for me anyway it's still a dud of a bios but I have heard a lot of people saying they don't even hit 63 they were always hitting those those kind of rpms so you guys might as well try it out it's not like it drops your rpm makes you your stuff get hot but for me I can't have that my stuff needs that maximum rpm all the time or it gets you know hotter than it already gets and which that's already a little too hot for a lot of people it's the cpu gets up to 96 97 and the gpu gets up to like 97 to freaking or not 97 but like 87 to like sometimes it'll touch 90 if you're playing a really intensive game doesn't throttle or anything but a lot of people don't see those temps and like f that i don't want nothing to do with that so doesn't hurt nothing really i mean it does hurt something i'm sure it would last like maybe five years now instead of eight but it'll be so outdated in five years anyway my logic is i might as well just use it have fun with it, crank that bitch to the max, have fun, upgrade when it dies, or I'll upgrade when it becomes so slow it can't play games, but then I'll still keep it around and I'll do benchmarks and updates on this thing until it just literally can't do nothing or just up and die. That's my plan anyway, and we're still gonna bring in some more laptops and whatnot to uh, compare to this guy and all that stuff. Also gonna have another Windows little handheld to go with the Steam Deck too, so then we'll have Windows covered there. Thinking about getting the ASUS Ally, I think that would be kind of cool, but that is about all I got for you guys for this video, and another 
other thing before I finish, just being in this new apartment is awesome just for these videos. Look how much better this looks. This looks so much more professional just from being in a, not in my master bedroom <laughs> of my old house. Having to set it right next to a window and having stuff on the outside fuck with the camera, never being able to get the light right because I have those cheap ass like office blinders. So this is such, just such an awesome thing. Glad to finally be here. I can finally, just moving in here has made it, had made my videos higher quality without having to do anything else. Pretty awesome. Anyway though, that is all I got for you guys for this video. I sure hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out guys.